Before I start this video, I'm aware some of the content aren't for everyone, which is perfectly fine. Often I'm asked why did I choose Chiang Mai Thailand? I wanted to try something that was opposite of what I was accustomed to. Chiang Mai has a large digital nomad population. That means people who work online have online businesses, they have remote jobs. In preparation of moving to Thailand, people use my post to get an understanding of Thailand. And my budget when I first came here last year was minimal. So I was looking at $200 a month, condos, $80 a month bikes, how to live comfortable on a shoestring budget. People had this perception that because that's what I was looking at, that that's all Chiang Mai has to offer. People had this misconception that it must be some third world country. Everything must be dirt cheap. It's not. Those are all bad misconceptions because you actually can live very minimal. You need a stripped down room, 250 square feet-ish, no kitchen, small bathroom, toilet, shower combination for 100 bucks, 80 bucks a month, yes you can. The reality of it is, once you start getting friends, you get a girlfriend, you get a boyfriend, it's like being back in the States. You're not spending the same amount of money, but having a normal western style of life you end up having a larger budget it's going to happen i want to try japanese i want to try indian i want to try mexican i want to try a burrito this day i want to have something different than pad thai you have this perception that it's pollution or dirty of course it's pollution now anyone if you have asthma and, and, and breathing issues then you probably don't want to be in a large city to begin with but if you have normal health your health isn't going to be any worse. Most likely you're not going to get sick by breathing the air. No, no you can't drink the, the tap water. I personally don't drink tap water anyway. You can't drink the tap water or you will get sick. As you eat street food, eventually you will get food poisoning. It happens. I had food poisoning twice last year. The first time it lasted like two, three hours. Second time, it hit me for like six, seven hours. Like lightheaded, I was instant dizzy, I started sweating. It was a really unpleasant feeling. This uh, perception that you look like a king in Thailand. And yes, all right, the word king and royalty, yes, I'm aware it's subjective. You're not gonna, you're not gonna bring 500 bucks to USD and live like a king. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna be on a budget. This condo right now is 430 bucks a month. There is no possible way I'm living like a king for 500 bucks. Now sure, you can get something half as expensive. You can go out every single night drinking and dancing and bar hopping, clubs, off 500 USD a month. It's not happening. I don't care how cheap your rent is. Things are cheaper and money stretches further, you think, wow, it's so expensive. The larger things are a lot more affordable. The price of Jordans in America are the same price in Thailand and Hong Kong and Singapore and India. Those prices don't change. Yes, they may be off by a dollar or two. It could be five bucks cheaper, 10 bucks more. Shut up. Same price. People are having this, this false perception, only able to live well in Thailand because it's so much um, more affordable. People don't understand how fees add up. I have to do visa runs and go to immigration every 90 day-ish, or 40, 60 days. Uh, we're gonna do a visa run. 30, by 29 days, we're gonna do a visa run. It costs me about $150 to do this visa run. And then the third month, I can um, apply for an extension for 50 USD. So $200 for a three month visa. Three, six, nine, 12. That's $66 a month in visa freeze. 